Hello everyone in the sun, and welcome to part 2 of my Nethercraft mod overviews. This time I'm obviously covering the mobs, lava boats, bows, and any other remaining things I haven't yet. So, we'll just look at each of these. So you got the dark zombie, which is my first so, which has probably about 50 health, I think that is, 25 health. And obviously, what we do is just attack you like a zombie would, but they drop rotten flesh and red feathers, which you can use for the arrows. Got the bloody one, which is a bit more damaged. You can see that reflected in the design and has less health than the regular. They also drop rotten flesh and red feathers. Got the lava slime, which can obviously be big, medium, or small. And after a while, mostly I think the medium or the small ones, they'll drop slime eggs, which you can use for projectile fire, or has a chance of spawning a lava slime if they can get the tavern. And they also have more health when they do. Um, pretty much the Standard ones just happen to have a fair amount of health. The ones from the projectile um, uh, slime eggs, as you can see, a lot smaller. Two, yep. smaller, please. Yeah, two hearts. Other than that, we've got the camouflage spider, which pretty much, if I just happen to spawn it with a egg here on natural. Mm -hmm. Um, nether dirt, uh, it'll blend in, or if it's on netherrack, naturally, so, yeah. Uh, as long as there's nether dirt underneath, I have access to it, then it will. But, um, there we go, it'll blend in there. Uh, the web is just from another mod, so, yeah. And they do just drop string, they don't drop anything else that different. Uh, finally though, we have the imp, which has three different forms. You've got the green or blue one, you've got the orange being the middle, and you've got the red. Um, so obviously they are kind of like a cow mixed with a slime, but they've got the three different types, and then once you get to the smallest, it'll drop into the as well as explode. On doing so, you can then use for a lava book and the deep skin armor. Other than that, you've got the tribal mobs, which obviously you can see if you've got the warrior has different variations. Um, whilst the trini seems to be the same, and the archer also seems to be pretty much the same. These act like pigmen, and I think the only ones that happen to drop the thing is the archer dropping a type of bow or arrows, um, most likely arrows. Come across, and um, other than that, I think the trainee drops some glowwood sticks and planks. So just clear out this area. Obviously, you can tell they were trying to attack the um, spider, so they don't really just stand around and wait for the player to attack them. So, um, okay, so you can get an iridium soon, which I hadn't gotten until now. Um, Trini should give us a set of links stick, and this one should give us hopefully some arrows. Which I've still been using looting, so it's kind of lucky we're getting the drops sometimes. Uh, the different bows obviously uh, do have differences of damage, and the arrows, as far as I know, don't actually change anything. It's pretty much just if you happen to have the material. So, which I'll try and demonstrate. Uh, let's see, the dark zombie, for example. So, we've got five there. Nine there. There. Six there. Uh, it's 
to try the same flowers. I don't think it's supposed to change anything, but it can. Second. So nine, six, six, seven ish. Try again. Just in case it was luck. Six, seven. So it pretty much seems like the same. I can do it with regular arrows, just for comparison. just seems down to the bows rather than the actual arrows. So if you want to waste resources on certain other arrows, you can, depending on what resource you have access to. But um, it doesn't seem to reflect in the ammunition you have, just the bow itself. Other than that, obviously, we have the Iridium Igniter, which is like so, and gives a 3x3 three three of fire. Got the lava boat, which obviously has a design in it, but um, we'll pretty much just get in and swim around the nether, which a regular boat obviously cannot do. And finally we have the gas bomb, which you can use a redstone torch or a iridium igniter on. Uh, flint still should work, but obviously uh, we'll just stick with the mods items for now. Um, as far as I know, I've tried with obsidian and bedrock around it, and it doesn't destroy either, so it will just break pretty much anything from a certain point of blast radiuses. The blast resistance, sorry. And the blast radius is pretty much the same as TNT, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.